Hi! Today we're diving into a super interesting topic that may surprise you. It's no secret that there are more women than men in certain countries, leading to some unique social dynamics and challenges. So, let's break it all down and explore what's going on. Let's start with Latvia. This beautiful Baltic country has one of the highest gender imbalances in the world, with significantly more women than men. In fact, there are approximately 86 men for every 100 women in Latvia. This discrepancy is largely due to historical factors, such as World War II and the Soviet occupation, which resulted in a loss of male population. As a result, Latvian women often find themselves competing for a smaller pool of eligible men, leading to fierce competition and sometimes even desperation to find a partner. Moving on to Romania, we see a similar trend. The gender ratio in Romania is skewed towards women, with about 91 men for every 100 women. Like Latvia, Romania has a history of wars and political turmoil that have contributed to the imbalance. Additionally, economic factors play a role, as many Romanian men have immigrated to other countries in search of better opportunities, leaving behind a surplus of women. This dynamic can create challenges for Romanian women seeking long-term relationships, as the odds of finding a compatible partner are lower than in more balanced societies. Let's talk about Argentina. This South American country also has a surplus of women, with about 95 men for every 100 women. The gender imbalance in Argentina is partly due to cultural factors, such as machismo and traditional gender roles, which can make it difficult for women to find equality and respect in relationships. Additionally, economic instability and emigration have further exacerbated the issue, leaving many Argentine women struggling to find a partner who meets their needs and expectations. So, what are the implications of this gender imbalance in Latvia, Romania, and Argentina? Well, for one, it can lead to a competitive dating market where women often feel pressured to settle for less than they deserve. In some cases, this can result in unhealthy relationships and even abuse, as women may feel they have limited options due to the lack of eligible men. Additionally, the imbalance can contribute to social issues such as low birth rates and a decline in traditional family structures, as more women remain single or choose not to have children. Despite these challenges, it's important to remember that women in these countries are resilient and resourceful. Many have found ways to navigate the dating scene and build fulfilling lives without relying on traditional relationship norms. In fact, some women have embraced their independence and chosen to focus on personal and professional growth, rather than seeking validation through a romantic partner. In conclusion, the gender imbalances in Latvia, Romania, and Argentina are complex issues that stem from a combination of historical, cultural, and economic factors. While these imbalances present challenges for women seeking relationships, they also offer opportunities for empowerment and self-discovery. By recognizing and addressing the root causes of these imbalances, we can work towards creating more equitable societies where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Now let's talk about Bosnia. This Balkan nation has been grappling with a significant gender gap for years. The aftermath of the Bosnian War in the 1990s took a heavy toll, with many men losing their lives or fleeing the country. As a result, Bosnia now has one of the highest female-to-male ratios in the world. Women outnumber men by a significant margin, making it tough for women to find suitable partners. Now, let's swing over to Czechia, a picturesque country in Central Europe. Despite its stunning landscapes and rich history, Czechia is also facing a similar dilemma. The increasing number of women in the country has led to a surplus of females in the dating pool. Factors such as emigration and higher life expectancy for women have contributed to this gender disparity. Next up, we have Estonia, a Baltic gem known for its thriving tech scene and beautiful medieval architecture. However, behind the facade of its digital innovation lies a concerning trend too many women and not enough men. Estonia's population imbalance has raised concerns about the social and economic implications of having a surplus of women in the country. So, why does this gender imbalance matter? Well, it goes beyond just dating and relationships. 
In countries where women outnumber men, there can be significant social and economic consequences. From a societal perspective, the lack of available men can lead to increased competition among women, potentially affecting social dynamics and relationships. On the economic front, having a surplus of women can impact workforce participation and overall productivity, as women may face challenges in finding fulfilling employment opportunities. But what's causing this imbalance in the first place? There are several factors at play. In countries like Bosnia, past conflicts and migration patterns have skewed the gender ratio. In Czechia and Estonia, emigration and changing social norms have contributed to the surplus of women. Additionally, differences in life expectancy between men and women can also play a role in creating a gender imbalance in these countries. So, what can be done to address this issue? Well, it's a complex problem that requires a multidimensional approach. From a policy standpoint, governments can implement strategies to encourage family formation and support gender equality. Providing incentives for men to stay or return to their home countries and promoting gender-balanced immigration policies could also help alleviate the gender disparity. On a societal level, raising awareness about the implications of gender imbalances and challenging traditional gender roles can foster a more inclusive and equitable society. Encouraging open discussions about relationships, gender dynamics, and societal expectations can help shift the narrative and promote positive change. Ultimately, addressing the gender imbalance in countries like Bosnia, Czechia, and Estonia requires a concerted effort from all stakeholders, governments, communities, and individuals. By recognizing the importance of gender equality and taking proactive steps to promote a more balanced society, we can create a brighter future for all. So, let's continue the conversation and work towards a world where everyone has equal opportunities and choices, regardless of their gender. Now, let's take a closer look at Armenia. This small country in the South Caucasus region has one of the highest rates of gender imbalance in the world, with more women than men. The reasons for this are complex, but one major factor is the high rate of male emigration. Many Armenian men leave the country in search of better economic opportunities, leaving behind a surplus of women who are unable to find suitable partners. In the Philippines, the situation is slightly different but no less concerning. Like Armenia, the Philippines also has a surplus of women due to male emigration. In this case, many Filipino men leave the country to work abroad, particularly in the Middle East, where they can earn higher wages. This leaves behind a significant number of single women who may struggle to find partners within their own country. And then there's Italy, a country known for its romantic charm and beautiful landscapes. However, Italy is facing its own set of challenges when it comes to gender imbalance. In recent years, there has been a noticeable decline in the number of Italian men, largely due to factors like lower birth rates and emigration. This has led to a surplus of women in Italy, particularly in certain age groups. So, why does this gender imbalance matter? Well, for one, it can have serious social and economic consequences. In societies where there are more women than men, competition for partners can be fierce, leading to higher rates of loneliness and depression among single women. It can also create demographic challenges, such as an aging population and a shrinking workforce. But what about the men in these countries? Well, some may argue that they have the upper hand in this scenario, with a surplus of potential partners to choose from. However, it's important to remember that gender imbalance affects everyone, not just women. Men may also struggle to find suitable partners in these societies, particularly if they are looking for someone with similar values and goals. So, what can be done to address this gender imbalance? Well, there are no easy answers, but one possible solution is to promote policies that encourage men to stay in their home countries. This could include initiatives to boost economic opportunities, improve education and healthcare, and create a more supportive environment for families. It's also important to challenge traditional gender roles and stereotypes that may be contributing to this imbalance. 
In conclusion, the gender imbalance in countries like Armenia, the Philippines, and Italy is a complex issue that has far-reaching implications for society as a whole. By raising awareness of this issue and working towards solutions, we can create more equitable and inclusive societies where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Thanks for watching, and be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below.